Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our OG Pulse, the weekly show we dive into all things tech and gaming. My name is Jake Kalinsky, and I, I guess I'm your host, and I'm joined here by my illustrious co-hosts, Whitson. What's good, my friend? Oh, you know, just just still grinding Elden Ring nonstop. All still day, maidenless? Day. Still maidenless. <laughs> I was playing WoW yeah. last night and I saw a WoW guild called Maidenless. It's just, it's, it's, mm-hmm. the game has put its mark it on the gaming industry. every aspect of gaming culture. Yeah, yeah, it is, it is, it, it's here, it's here to stay. I mean, good for them. They've like, it's, they have, it feel like this is like the culmination of everything that they have been working on for like years and years. Kind of the way that like Hades felt like the culmination of everything Supergiant had done up until that point. Yeah, you know, I don't want to say it was like their swan song because that means it was like their last thing, but it was like everything. They, was they hit their stride. They hit their stride. This is this is like a, a masterpiece. Lot of people have been saying like, where does where does FromSoft go from here? Um, mm. And I'm like, I'm really like people are like, is there going to be an Elden Ring two? Or is their next game going to be open world? Like how you know this is some people are like some people think that this isn't a big change to the formula. I think the open world is a huge change to the formula. It's a monster and change. And I'm really curious as to what happens next. Well, it, even though I'm like not even a quarter of the way through this game yet. Yeah. So the world is huge. It's expansive, and there's there's a lot of stories that have been told in it, and I think there's still a lot of stories that can be told in it in the future. So I'm kind of hoping they go the live design route where they evolve and change the existing world through DLC that they sell where we can see things happen where maybe new areas open up or areas change or seasons change and and things happen because this is a big world that I have personally fallen in love with where I've explored it and I've really gotten to know it Um, but I would love to continue exploring it and seeing events happen and so on but I haven't has from software ever done DLC I've I've, I've no idea expansions no idea um but I, I really do feel like they made a world that is so rich and, and so complete that it'd be a shame to just move on to a new game. Well, unless they did it all over again with a complete brand new world that's just yeah. as deep. Like, well, who's let's, to say? Let's just draw the direct comparison <laughs> to, I guess, a bit of gaming news that we could tie in. Is Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 has been delayed. Um, and because they're adding a double jump to the horse, they must, I must hope it's be they're adding a double jump to the horse. But Take six months to do that. I please. believe it's going to be the same world, but in, you know, changed or new, I guess we'll see. right. I, I will see. We'll see. But sup, Shasha, sup, Sasha, Shrasha, <laughs> Shrasha. <laughs> guys, it's like, this is, it's already like feels so late in the day for me. And this is like the beginning of my night. Yeah. I have here. like a meeting at 10 PM tonight. And then I have another, I have a presentation I'm giving at midnight. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do all day, all night. Like I got to stay up. <laughs> it's usually like my bedtime. At you're, like not, you're not a kef- caffeine guy either. Wow. I, I almost said caffeine. We can't talk. I've already had some caffeine today, but if Ooh. I had it too late, I won't sleep. Yeah. So. Sasha, so. Uh, you were, you were sipping vending machine. Thai milk tea. Milk tea. Ooh, milk tea. Can only recommend it. Uh, this is this milk tea has quite some punch. Uh, as anybody who's who's been to Asia can tell you, tea here is pretty much like like coffee. Uh, well, m- in, milk tea is yeah, it's definitely That's it's, it's, it's a heavily steep. It's like a black. It's like an English black tea, is what I like to think of it. And um, milk tea is quite sweet too. So there's a lot of sugar yep. in that traditionally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Delicious. Yeah, that would mess me up. Too much caffeine. Well, it's perfect in the morning. You know, it has lots of sugar, lots of caffeine. So that really gets me going. So Sasha's ready to go. (laughs) I'm ready to go, yeah. (laughs) For two hours. (laughs) And then then you need another one. Marathon pulse. Um, Yeah. Well, should we talk about the biggest news of the week? Sure. 3090 Ti. It's here. Mm. It's, when the it 30, actually exists. When the 3090 just isn't enough. The 3090 Ti is here, and we've got we've got them, and we've got you know I, I'm drop the link the, in the chat. The it proud, exists. Proud user of a 3080 Ti and liquid cooled edition, and there is a liquid cooled 3090 Ti. And there is the thermals. It looks pretty sweet. Thermals are I I think of all the GPUs out there, I think the reviews are showing that that card, our liquid cooled card, is by far the best thermals of all. 
to the best I wouldn't doubt that at all. I mean, so. even our air cooled cards are usually some of the best because yeah. we just put the triple fan. I mean, look, our, our we have a we have two car two thirty ninety Ti's. We have the Strix liquid cooled, mm -hmm. and we have a tough model. Um, and even the tough model has a really thick heat sink and and three fans. It's uh those cards. I mean, like I have a Strix thirty seventy, and the thing is just so quiet compared to the card that I had before this. Um, because there's just, the cooling is so good, even on our air cooled cards. And that is worth, like, it's worth its weight in gold to me because I don't want the noise and, uh, and all that stuff. Yeah. So yeah, 3090 Ti, pretty, uh, pretty, pretty interesting. Pretty, uh, if you want the best, the best of the best, you'll also need our ROG Thor power supply to go with it. <laughs> yeah, I I don't know if my thousand watt <clears throat> GPU is is gonna cut it for a thirty ninety Ti. Well, it actually uh, the thirty ninety Ti is supposed to pair well with a one thousand watt um, okay. power. So okay, you, you know if you could get your hands on one, I mean, you'd be good. I can write an email and try. <laughs> 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 would it work who knows uh, i'll see if they'll swap me out for the third i don't know if they're i don't know what the gains would be i don't know if they'd be worth it who yeah, are you I sending mean, that email to whitson <laughs> i don't control any of these yeah things. Nah, I I, i'd have to contact 30, 70 on the new egg shuffle yeah <laughs> so yeah jake jake is the one that gets all the all the toys sometimes well, he shares sometimes if you're lucky <laughs> Usually I'm like, I don't still know. Still not going to send me his anime matrix keyboard though. No, no, this is, I'm, I, if they try to take it from me, I'm going to tell them to charge me for it. I'm we'll not... have to sneak into Jake's house and murder him. If we, oh, if we want to this... try out that key. Uh, yeah. The, yeah. My, my, my keyboard, uh, can I, the, the cable is like pinned underneath my audio interface. I can kind of show it here. Uh, anime matrix is currently off actually, but why, um, why you can, you can see it here. Oh, there it is. Well, I I, I'm adjusting the volume, right? Did, so did you try the headset? Like, did you try the Anime Matrix headset? I have yeah, it, JK. or I, I had it, rather. I sent it away. Um, I can't use USB headsets because I need to plug directly into my audio interface the way uh, I do all my, my mixing. Um, so, therefore, it doesn't work uh, properly, But I think Lane has it now. Yeah, Lane has it now. Yeah. So, Lane, actually, Lane will hopefully be using it on stream uh, on, on Friday. Friday. Yeah, we're playing Tiny Tina's Wonderlands so again. Show it off. Yeah, so you'll get to see it there. Um, it is really cool. Beautiful headset, beautiful headset. Uh, um, so yes, in other GPU news, <laughs> Intel Arc GPUs are here. They're here. They're been like officially detailed. We're not going to see. So right now we only have, uh, like the, the three series, uh, GPUs we're going to start seeing in laptops soon. Um, and I think in the, over the summers when we're going to see the Arc 5 and Arc 7 GPUs in laptops, and then we'll see the desktop variants, but it's pretty interesting. I'm pretty curious to see where this goes. They detailed some cool stuff regarding these. Look forward to us, you know, diving deep on that and, and exploring that technology because you know I'm going to pull Jeff Campman back into the show. He used to be a regular <laughs> on Pulse. He now works specifically on the Intel GPUs. Uh, yeah. So we're going to, he, he has no say in the matter. I'm getting him on this show, right? <laughs> you know, he's going to come, he's going to talk to us. He's going to tell us what they're doing, what their plan is, what their vision is, you know, how these, how these GPUs stand up, what they're capable of price points. I'm sure we'll learn that before we get him on the show, but I'm thoroughly intrigued by the technologies so they're working on. Yeah. Yeah. It's, and it, this is just so good for the ecosystem in general, right? You think about more competition. Yeah. Um, that's, it's, it's good for consumers. It's good for it. Well, and it, cr it creates competition. So I can't wait to see how XESS performs. Because that is just, I am just obsessed with all of these different upscaling techniques yeah. right now. And I'm so, so interested to see how someone with Intel's experience and computational prowess, what how XCSS stands up to things like DLSS and right. MSR. Which... Um, Sasha's Sasha's sitting there with a smug smile on his face, like he knows the answers to all these questions. He but might, Jake and might. I know nothing. We know nothing. Uh, so well, we do have an ASUS model with the DG2 coming out soon. So I, I know some, but not not too much. But I hope, yeah, I didn't know that, which means it probably hasn't been announced <clears> yet. Which means you should probably just yep. <laughs> Moving on. Um, there's always cool things <laughs> this in the works. This is what happens when we have Sasha. On yeah, the show. this is the Sasha classic and dropping knowledge bombs line. that he doesn't necessarily uh <laughs> have authorization to drop which speaking of know, upscaling though maybe okay okay speaking of upscaling techniques nvidia streamline 
is another really interesting piece of news this week. And this, this, I mean, this has to do with XCSS because basically NVIDIA is working with developers to make it easier for them to implement things like DLSS, FSR, XCSS. So hopefully, um, if they're making it easier for developers to implement this, that will hopefully increase the amount of games that leverage this technology. Because it's always so exciting to see a game that supports DLSS that I can just like crank up the frame rate. And whenever a game doesn't support it, I'm like, oh, man. Uh, so the more games we can get with this technology in them, the better. And so I'm super excited to see that NVIDIA is. And the technology that NVIDIA is developing will help developers implement competi competing uh, upscaling techniques, too. Yeah. Which which gives users more choice. That's, that's really, really interesting. It allows you to make use of that no matter what card you have. Um, so that's really, really exciting. Cool. A couple of questions or comments in chat. I would like to see these three guys playing video games together. Well, you can at least tune into our Twitch stream on Friday this week where we'll be playing Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, but Sasha won't be joining for that. But maybe we'll yep. do a late night ROG stream where we jam yeah. some games with Sasha in the future. We can do that too. Um, the problem is I, Sasha... I wouldn't mind. The hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, but that'd be sweet. I, I just want to. Do we have to do it during your work hours, or do we have to do it during your nighttime and our like early morning? Like, do Jake and I have to wake up at six? Sasha wants to, to do it while you? he's in the office. You kidding me? He's like, I can nah, get to play games. That's fine. I can, I can, I can do it. I can do it outside of working hours. That's fine. Um, <laughs> well, we're gonna make that happen. But uh, just to clarify, we do those on Twitch.tv slash Asus ROG. We don't do the gaming streams here on YouTube. YouTube. What, what time do you guys usually do that? Well, th well, we do it in an hour that would Middle not work for you. But we, we could, we could, we can talk. We can talk because we do it like 3 a.m for you so you wouldn't you wouldn't uh, like no no we can definitely yeah. we can adjust we it's can a little adjust. early we can a do a warning early. you know i was up at 3 a.m last night though i almost came in and played video games because yeah. i could not get back to sleep i've been there been there yeah. um and then it's another question about trying to find a spare bolt for your rog chariot um Jake Green, if you want to, oh. if you want to, like DM me on Twitter, I can see if I can find out what size bolt you need. I can guarantee you that we don't provide spare parts like that. I don't think we sell individual screws and nuts and bolts, but we might be able to identify what size screw you need so that you can at least purchase. A lot it. of times, you can just go to like Ace Hardware and or just something be like, like that. Or bring the same, magic. bring the same nut. That's what I've done, right? You just get a, you, you know, yep. you get it from a different part of the chair. You bring it to the store. And if you're not confident, talk to someone that works there and be like, hey, I need another one of these. And there will almost always be someone. A lot that can of times help you get it. at hardware stores, they'll have a little panel with um, threads in it. So you can take a bolt that you have and try to screw it into uh, different yeah. size threads. Lowe's, and Lowe's it'll tell you exactly that. what yeah. size yeah. it is. So that's actually that's I've done that with a bunch of different stuff when I've lost the included bolt. Just harvest, really just harvest one from yours. Jake. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm not going to sacrifice my <laughs> screws and my bolts. Harvest it from a lesser gaming chair that's already broken Ooh. down. Go to like Salvation Army. There's probably a chair that's like missing a back or something because it's from like some off-brand manufacturer and just steal its bolts, see if they work. Yeah. I found Good. a gaming chair in the boiler room of my apartment building once. Someone just left it. It was missing a wheel. And someone a just gaming left chair. You know, not, not just yeah. any chair. A gaming. No, it was chair. like a gaming chair, but it was missing a wheel. And apparently, this person didn't know you could just go on Amazon and buy replacement casters. And I, so you're like, I guess this is garbage now. Boiler room. And I was like, sweet. I did that with a gaming chair in New York City uh, because I was moving. But that's I just didn't know what oh, to do with it. So I just wheeled I actually, it down. I reviewed a gaming chair uh, back when I was in media. And they didn't want it back. They were like, no, we don't want you to ship that back. And I was like, well, I don't want this. I already have a chair. And so we just we just sold it with the house. Like we were selling that house and I just gave it to the guy who bought the house. I was like, this is your problem now. Bye. He was probably I, was like, I don't know. The pipes are leaking. But hey, I'll throw in this gaming chair. All right. Deal. <laughs> Dude, fun, fun fact. The pipes were leaking and we didn't know it. And their bathroom almost caved in like six oh, months after they. Oh, no. You got out of yeah, the house you just in you time. No, uh, you no we know. really yeah. didn't. <laughs> <laughs> we really did. Uh, got a death with such 4000 series GPU. I can neither confirm nor deny the existence of such a GPU. Well, they're going to exist at some point. I mean, we, I mean, 
No, when I say that, I literally can't because I actually know nothing beyond what you guys know. And we also don't know if they'll be called 4000 series. What so, if NVIDIA pulls an NVIDIA and starts calling oh, it yeah. like I mean, the, yeah, yeah. The, the to be full, TXR 200 They series. love doing that. Full right. transparency, yeah. guys. We read the same articles that you guys read. Where, and yeah, we get yeah. excited. We're like, yo, if these rumors are true, this is really <laughs> exciting. Because like Whitson literally typed that in the chat the other day. He's like, yo, read this article, guys. If this is actually what we're getting, this is going to be so cool. Although, so, honestly, is it more exciting than the fact that you can actually buy like a 3060 on new egg right now yes for like, a decent price uh, for not actually like two thousand like, dollars yeah not like two thousand dollars <laughs> guys uh are like we have what seen was it? 600 it was yeah something like that six or seven hundred i think for the yeah, 3060 i mean that's still guys, go higher look than it used high. to be but it's, it's okay about yeah. an hour ago when i checked they were out of stock but i've been checking all week and i've seen them in stock more than i've seen them out of stock so if you and are looking 30, for 70 tis right yep I, thought 30, I saw 3070 TIs. I'm, I'm I really saw interested. a couple 3050s, I, I, I think. Guys, if I, you're I looking for a 3070 TI, keep an eye on places like Newegg and Amazon. They're coming out. Um, and Asus has already announced that we will be aggressively dropping prices tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah, I think April price, drops, first. price drops are coming. And that's not an April Fool's Day joke. And that's um, not an April Fool's that joke. That is not an April Fool's Day joke. That's like horrible timing. To like, you're like, you're yeah, like hey guys, say, we're dropping our timing. prices. April Fool's. Oh my April God. Can, of all time. can you imagine how <laughs> awful that would be? Um, yeah. I actually, I know some of the April Fool's jokes that are coming. I mean, that may or may not be coming. They're not April Fool's jokes. We have announcements we're making on the first woods and God, you're the worst. Uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, guys, now like, now is the time gpus are here yeah yeah time. No, seriously so like th there's if you've been considering pulling the trigger start planning your build now if you've been like saying hey i'm waiting to buy a, build a pc uh until gpus are available this is i mean maybe maybe you know start start perusing the prices see if it makes sense figure out your build um look at those those ryzen 5600s look at those um intel i7s you know figure out what you want to do grab yourself a great asus motherboard and build yourself an awesome machine uh, but gpus yeah I, I mean the strix and the tough are some of the highest rated out there for you know thermals which means yep. performance um, and silent and quiet and, yeah. and, so and, much and, quieter yeah. than than a lot of the competing cards you yeah. guys like i didn't mm -hmm. i didn't truly get it until i got a strix card and i was like oh my gosh the difference is insane compared to the other like regular kind of like mid-tier cards from other manufacturers it's it's a lot better and they have the dual bios switch so you can switch between performance right and, yeah. and quiet which is also yeah, yeah. um i was saying say, there's like some package deals right so there's some you, bundles yeah New, so newig specifically does bundles. a lot of bundles yeah newig like a, a lot of the bundles are good so like they're they're selling the 3070 ti with an rg strix power supply and yeah. if you're upgrading yeah. from an older gp you probably need that right yeah. you might need a 750 watt power supply and those power supplies mm. are good well there are also a lot of monitors like the tough monitors and, and strix monitors and those are really awesome too. My my buddy who is is still beating to death his 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 GTX 780, um, and just making it play his games is gonna finally upgrade. It sounds like, but oh man, but he desperately needs a new display to go with it. So I'm like, dude, get a bundle, just do it. Yep, pull the trigger. Now's the yeah. time. GTX it's 780. Time. Wow. I actually got a bundle for my yeah. 3070. I bought it in a bundle with a tough power supply. Um, and so now I have two power supplies, and I just use the other one as like. Uh, a spare power supply in case I need to troubleshoot because I've had issues in the past where I'm like, is this the motherboard? Is it Ram? Is it power supply? It's nice That's to have funny. an extra power supply to test with. Um, I will say we're also, I'm working on an, a guide right now for the website um, detailing the difference between the Strix, Tough, Asus Dual, Asus Phoenix, Asus KO. Oh, nice. D the different models of GPUs. So if we have you, a like, lot of, if you yeah. know you want a 3060 Ti or a 3070 Ti, but you're not sure which Asus model to go with, um, we'll have a guide up and, and maybe we'll talk about it on Pulse too that kind of details the different features and um, the, the, the things speeds, that, the wattages, yeah, the, the things, noise the levels. Separate those things because it, it really depends on on what you're building and what your budget is. Like I actually just got an Asus dual model for my other PC. I would have loved to get an ROG model, but because it's mini ITX, those dual models are actually really the great. Fans, right? They're yeah. smaller, and more the size smaller is really builds. important yeah. as well, right? Especially yeah. if you have like a mini ITX or micro ITX build. And that's what I have. I would yeah. I would much rather have a Strix because the cooler is much bigger and it's quieter. But the dual, especially for the price, is pretty killer and mm. it'll fit 
almost any build. Um, and the bio switch, like not all of them have the silent. Not all of them have the, the dual bio switch, yeah, but yeah. A, lot, a lot of them do. It really depends. Yeah. So we'll be going through all that stuff. It'll be really, really helpful, I think. Nice. Uh, including the Noctua one? <laughs> oh, I didn't even think about the Noctua one. You should. I, you should. I should throw that in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. Noct this is like, I don't know what it's like on the Aces side, but Noctua said like last week or something, they were like, yeah, we'd love to make more GPUs with Asus. And I was like, sweet. Yeah. Bring on yeah. all the Noctua <sighs> GPUs. I my, yeah. My massive CPU Noctua cooler, the Chroma black uh dhx i forget the actual model name um would look great with a asus noctua all oh, yeah. chroma black like graphics card i would be so happy but would but would they make a can we can we just GPU? can we just all why give not like a big shout out to noctua like thank you for oh, finally yeah. having black fans thank you so much no. noctua. thank right, you right but oh, i'm ready you. for i'm ready for my all just chroma black gpu with maybe no, Maybe man, like one line of RGB, like down the down the center. Let's I'm go. ready for all brown. Oh. with with RGB. You want to like then I make the RGB brown? I don't just like, like I don't like the brown. Actually, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do brown and green. I'm gonna make my PC look like a tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking. Can it. you can you actually configure RGB to look? brown no can you actually, actually make it glow there's I think an incredible can, right? there's an incredible youtube video <laughs> about how the color brown doesn't exist right it doesn't. i'm so, looking this up wait i'll put you, it in chat yeah Whitson. like uh if anybody noctua noctua guys you have to come up the next noctua graphics card let's go let's let's <laughs> make it rgbb so it's red green blue brown it, it has brown led <laughs> Let's go. Let's so make it happen. Brown, guys, I just put a video in chat. Add it to your watch later list. It's Breaking like news. A, a half hour or 40 minutes long, but it's one of the most interesting videos I've watched on YouTube. There is no such thing as like, a, there's no brown light. It's Brown is just dark orange. Yeah. So you would have to make I'm sure RGB you can make orange. it happen. Well, and I'm like, sure actually, you if you had a tough build, you could actually match a knock to a fan with a tough build with that, like kind of the, the yellowish stuff and like actually probably make it look pretty cool. <laughs> Anyway, that was a really weird Noctua uh, diatribe, but I, I, I do love Noctua. So, uh, yeah, D15 on the next graphics card. Let's go. I want to yeah, see that. Just stick like a whole yeah tower. Yep. Hits and got it. I got room. I have an ATX case for no apparent That's what I did at home. I, like, I have that. Yeah. Wait, do you really? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I have a, a riser card extender and then a D15 strapped to my uh, Asus RG that graphics is card. Yeah. Hilarious and incredible. Well, how do you cool like the VRMs? Do you just, um, do you just YOLO it or? <laughs> no, I, I, I used to work for Cooler Master, so I still have like a ton of small heat sinks. Oh, like the little, yeah, copper. Yeah, yeah. Things, and like, yeah. back in the days when I was doing like TEC and uh, like a lot of water cooling and everything, I had tons of those little heat sinks still left for memory, for chips. I think I had one of those when I did a water block because I didn't do a full cover water block on my GPU. I did one of it's those. Not like, it's not pretty. It's really. But you don't it's always really see ghetto, the other side of the GPU, works. so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, okay. This is I love you guys. <laughs> should we talk about should we talk briefly about PlayStation Plus? Yeah, oh, yeah it's not um, change related, uh, but it's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's, it's 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 good to compare the kind of the impact that Xbox Game Pass is having on the ecosystem where PlayStation is starting to feel the pressure to be able to compete with the value that Game Pass already offers where we have PlayStation Plus now basically merging PlayStation Now into the service and offering three different tiers of PlayStation Plus. So there's like the limited edition or whatever they call it, like the basic, then there's the pro and then there's the elite or whatever the the actual terminology is and basically yeah. um you know the PlayStation Plus in its current iteration gives you access to online games but also you get a free free couple games two to three games every month they're going to mm -hmm. keep that as like the basic package but the second tier there's going to be game streaming built in and then i believe the third actually, tier actually i think it's the opposite so i think hold on, we should look this up to make sure yeah maybe maybe maybe, maybe, the, maybe the first one is the basic game the, streaming the, the basic debate the, the first tier is yeah like you said it's it's online multiplayer it's basically like the equivalent of xbox live gold right yep. um that's called playstation plus essential playstation plus extra is online multiplayer and you get uh access to like 400 ps4 and ps5 games to download so that doesn't include streaming okay um those are just but you also games. get That's... your two free games a month i think with that yes you still get the, the you get the, the two, two free games, games a month, a month right month. and that, that one's for, i think it's 11 or 9.99 and then and then 
1499 for PlayStation Plus Extra. And then 1799 for... The streaming is PlayStation Plus Premium, which is kind of the equivalent to Xbox Live Ultimate, which is where you get the streaming um, on the Xbox side. On the PlayStation side, it is a bit more expensive, though. And the only way to play PS3 games is through streaming. Right. Now, there's like kind of a decent reason for that. The PS3 had such a weird architecture that it's, you know, emulating that on the PS5 is is a whole challenge unto itself. Um, so I think that they just kind of put all of those as streaming games to give access to people while making it a little bit easier to, to offer them. It's interesting that, yeah, so some of those games are stream only. It's a little bit more expensive than Xbox Live Ultimate. And uh, you don't have a, as many day one games, I think. Right. Um but it's interesting. What I, you know, what I would really like to see is PSP games and, and and being able to play that on my phone. I would love that, even I, if it has to stream and I cannot do it locally. But that would still be really nice, especially so with big phones. You know, you make a really yeah. good point because that's that's the big challenge, right? So PlayStation has an uphill battle to fight against Game Pass because Game Pass, not only do they have a huge library, tons of day one games and all that good content built into it already, um, the price is a little bit better and you have the fact that you can play on PC, which is mm-hmm. where I use it, but I do have a Xbox Series S in my living room to use if I wanted to, and on mobile. And, you know, Witson mm-hmm. and I have both uh, fired up Forza and, and different games where you just stream it to your phone. Yep. Um, and now we have the Kunai, so we... I've been playing Xbox Game Pass with the Kunai on my phone in bed, and it's uh, awesome. It's, it's so awesome. It, and, the, and the streaming works really well. Like... Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't even have a Wi-Fi six E network, and it's still like great. I'm just gonna. Oh, Jake's, Jake's gonna well, pull it out. Yeah, we're All gonna. Right. We're gonna. It's it's cool. Um, the thing about I mean, PlayStation has does have some really great exclusive games, and so there's there is some value there. In yeah. Terms of, you want to play God of War? You want to play Spider Man? You want to play The Last of Us? Stuff like that. Um, oh, that, oh, don't get me makes, wrong. I I think this is an excellent step forward. Uh, for playstation and i i own a ps5 um and i'm excited about it but yeah but as know, a pc just... gamer man yeah. not much there for me <laughs> yeah i think i think it's good enough to you know prevent people from jumping to xbox game pass maybe i think that's probably what they're going for right uh to just make sure I they mean, have something you know at this point i don't know if <laughs> Game Pass is compelling, but I think the real... I don't think it's the thing that necessarily makes people jump ship. I think Mm. Microsoft acquiring all of these studios and having a much larger library this generation of exclusive games, I think that is what is going to really, really create some intense competition between uh, the two major console manufacturers. And it's great that they're doing that. I mean, this is like a 180 from just a few years ago when they were like, ah, no, exclusives are dead. You know, we don't need exclusives. I think that's really nice that they're doing a turnaround and investing uh, into games. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's there's a there's a whole there's a lot we could say about all of that. Uh, You know, especially when you look at like the Activision Blizzard acquisition, um, Mm. I was happy to see that happen because I was a little bit afraid of what would have happened to Mm -hmm. to Activision Blizzard without Microsoft kind of lifting them up in their time of need. Yeah. Um, so I, I'm, I'm happy to see a lot of, you know, my favorite games will survive into the future. Um, while Jake is putting this together, my last piece of gaming news, have you, either of you guys seen the Halo TV series yet? No. It's here. I haven't watched it yet, but... Yeah, I, I, I saw an analysis of it, I think, on Screen Crush. Uh, and yeah, it was was interesting. It's a YouTube channel. It's, it's pretty nice. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, I'm familiar with them. I just... Yeah, I, think if I, like, I, I like that show thing. that like, uh, you know, he knows all the backstory, the the, the comics, he, he knows what he's talking about. So and oh, he always cool. makes it fun, entertaining. Yeah. And I saw the analysis was a little bit weird because they made some changes to the story, how there's like humans yeah. that are actually agents for the. Uh, oh, I heard it would come out a few. Maybe it's not here yet. Reviews are out, but I thought it was there's, available I, to stream on Paramount Plus right now. Yeah, there's like this this lady and then there's tentacles coming out and she's actually like some weird agent or, or something. That kind of threw me off. I, yeah, I March, wish they would have March stuck 24th. more to the original story. First episode yeah. was a couple days ago. You know, I, I, I've kind of like heard the debate peripherally. I kind of understand why they're changing the story a little bit. But I'm, I'm just interested. I'm not interested in reading reviews 
of a series right when it comes out because I feel like people are always underwhelmed after one or two episodes because you don't know where they're going. Like, this is why I like to binge shows. Like, I don't like to watch one episode and then wait because, A, I forget what happened the week before. And it's B, also like, the audience, right? Like, who's, yeah. who's doing that? Like, the people who are throwing, who are, who are jumping on it, right, when it comes out are the people who are, like, the diehard fans, right? Well, and that's their also expectations true. are, are going to be very different, and that's why they're usually underwhelmed, I think, because you have those extreme diehard fans who immediately start talking about it. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah, I don't care what the first episode is like. I care what the first season is like. Like, yeah. I want to yeah. know, like, there's there's an arc and the first episode is usually introductory. So, yeah, I don't yeah. want to I don't want I want people to stop judging the show based on the first one or two episodes and, and wait and see what it's like for the whole season, because I can think of a lot of shows that I if I just went by people saying they didn't like the first two episodes, I would not have watched them or I would have ditched them myself. And it's right. All well, about the rest of the journey. Uh, I, I well, all I do know is right now with uh, Xbox Game Pass, you can get a month of Paramount Plus for free. So if you want to check it out, you oh. can check it out for free. I have not redeemed mine yet, as I'm waiting for a few episodes to be out. I'm interested in checking yeah. out Halo. Do you but know if that's I global? I don't know. No, I um, don't. It's part of the X, the Game Pass perks. So if you go into the Game Pass app, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm just if I could see that here in in Taiwan, that would be interesting. Possibly. Um, I have quests to turn I, in. I apparently have to connect the Kunai. Uh, to a Xbox Game Pass. I haven't done that yet because I haven't actually grinded. Uh, it no, it, wor it worked for me. It told oh. me that I needed a controller, but then when I pressed, um, you press the button to turn It just on. works? Yeah, it just worked for me. It like said nice. I needed a controller, but then I pressed a button and like, oh, it was like, oh, you have a controller plugged in. Okay, cool, you're good. There's also a Marvel Unlimited for three months on Game Pass right now, which I'm really tempted to mm. get because it's been a while, oh. but I don't. I think it would take me forever to catch up. I don't know. It's not working. I got to turn in all my Game Pass quests and get in my Microsoft rewards. I'll figure it out later. I mean, we weren't planning on actually showing this off, but no, it's, that it's was probably just, like really... one little step I have to do to get it to work. The perk, if you go into the Game Pass app, um, it's you click on your profile picture on the bottom and scroll down, and you'll see all the different perks. Um, and there, yeah, there's a Paramount Plus trial in there, at least for me. Speaking of perks, uh, also. Don't forget to go uh, go to ROG Elite and get your Elite points today for watching the stream. Yeah, I feel we, like we, have, we, we haven't gotta... talked about this on the late night shows. We have a different audience than we usually do. Guys, ROG Elite is a sweet rewards program we have. Uh, and now you can get points every time you watch one of our streams. Type in exclamation point Elite in I the know, chat. But we already got to get a new code because this code expires in a day. So, oh, it uh, does. <laughs> uh, we, but these go, codes so go change every month. So, so, so uh, you can redeem it now, but it's going to expire. We're going to have to get a new one set up. But tell me uh, more, guys. So what can I use those codes for? And honestly, I don't know. Like, what, what can I... Once you can get, I, you can yeah. get points for when you buy an ROG product and register it, you get a bunch yeah, of yeah. points. You can get points right. for like posting your setup yeah. on Twitter, things like that. And uh, then what can I watch the streams? For? And then games. you can use the points for games. Yeah. Usually, so, I mean, other things there's other about. stuff. Yeah. You can get extra like discounts RG or... ads. No, they're like free game codes. There's specific oh, wow. games that, that get added as a reward yeah. that you can redeem. And there's okay. a limited inventory, so they get claimed and the new games get added and stuff. But so like right uh, now, I think Prey uh, is available. Um, we, you can get like Prey for like a thousand some points. Yeah, or something. we we do need to clarify that those points things. are in the current iteration of this this program on Twitch specifically. The points that we give out only are redeemable for North America. They, yes. they are not mm. global. Um, now that's Damn something it. that might change with time. But right <laughs> Sorry, now, this Sasha. is something that we can only do in, 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 in North America. Actually, in the U.S. only. It's not even for all of North America. Yeah, there are different, not different teams. Canada. Manage. Not even for Canada. You know, it's just U.S. The, um, not Mexico. Just U.S. But um, but what we do have globally is we have our Marvels on stream giveaways, which we're going to fire up right now. We're going to give away a $20 voucher to gamesplanet.com. The command in Twitch chat, I probably didn't change it because I'm a jerk. Uh, oh, wait, it is correct. Go me. Yeah. Jake is a jerk. <laughs> That's correct. I just, for some reason, thought it would be wrong. But um, <laughs> uh, it's, been, it's been a day. <laughs> yep. Same. That, but that's the best, right? When, when, over. You, when you did something and then you forgot that you did it. Yeah. And <laughs> oh, yeah, I had that moment last night, actually. Well, I was preparing for this um, event where I was going to be speaking to like 100 high school turn students tomorrow about esports and like getting involved in the space. And I was I put a lot of effort into like, you know, basically my oh, talk. And I'm like really Steve excited Jobs about this speech. And then <laughs> and then they canceled it. Like, or they postponed it till May. Oh, like, like last minute, they postponed it till May. I'm like, oh, I've been like really 
really excited for this. So I'm, I'm a little bummed about that, but uh, more time to prepare, I guess. Hey, just just um, make a special episode on Twitch and you just give that speech. I, you know, but they, get to, they get to do Q and A. They get to they get to talk and ask questions. And I'm but I'm, why I'm, do that when he could play Elden Ring on stream tomorrow? Oh yeah. Yeah, tomorrow uh -huh. we're going to be... So if you guys want to take part in the giveaway, the giveaway, you have to be on Twitch chat, twitch.tv slash A-S-U-S-R-O-G, Asus R-O-G. Uh, we are going to start the session in, in now, so you guys can type exclamation mark play in Twitch chat, and that will enter you into this this Marvel's on stream giveaway. I'm gonna it will turn you into a marble. It will turn you into a marble. I'm going to let my cat Jake, out of my office. What's God up? of Death, which says you should record the talk and then upload it to YouTube. Well, it's not till May. We can talk about it. <laughs> should i enter i enter you can I, you can I, join no i can join the game i don't get the prize but i can still try to but, knock other marbles off <laughs> what are you gonna do if you win though uh i've actually won before and we just gave it to the second place oh okay okay uh sorry kainalu i saw your question earlier i do not have pricing for the rg backpack or uh or availability at the tip of my hands let me see which one the rg backpack 17 or the, sorry the oh. archer backpack archer backpack 17 okay yeah the 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 hiking one right that one's nice that's yeah yeah it's really cool that's the that's the one with the all the photography mm. uh dividers and stuff in it i think yeah, it's a yeah that's, that's bag, perfect yeah. for hiking yeah. yeah 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 it's really cool um i think that's oh that's that might be the archer backpack 15 i forget uh but nope, that's the backpack seventeen, I believe. Yeah. So I do you know if that's available yet? I'm not even sure if it's out yet. Um it it well, we launched it, but retail availability is like eh, some countries it's sooner, some it's later. So that I don't know in the US. Yeah. That's that's always the challenge is that like we can launch something, but like people right. are getting their Zephyrus duos in France, but we don't have them in the U.S. yet. I wish we had like a like a global eShop, you know, just just where where you can buy our stuff directly. Well, like it's a little even, complicated because yeah, yeah, very. You're gonna ship all of them from Taiwan. Like the shipping right. would be insane. Like that doesn't really yeah. make any sense. Ta how would you deal with taxes? Like it's, there's a reason that it's set up the way it is. And the world be uh, too big. That's all. That's all I know. I know. Yeah, uh, Jake, you are getting your duo tomorrow, though, right? I don't know. So it, was, guys, it was supposed to be here today. It hasn't left California. Say something nice about FedEx. <laughs> well, I, yeah. I mean, it hasn't left California yet, and it was supposed to get here today. So what What can I say? Uh, I The Don, I can't tell you about the ROG overlay for OBS. Uh, I don't manage what costs what, oh. but oh. We, can, we can give your feedback to the right person. I, I, I I, yeah, you're looking at the awards. I was a little surprised by that overlay when I saw the price. It's a bit high, and I because it's higher than games, which seems yeah. Weird, but I, and I, 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 it's not our call. It's someone's call. We can talk yeah. to the person whose yeah, call it is yeah, and yeah. see if maybe we can convince them. Um, I think that's a. I'm gonna I'm gonna fight that fight. We're, yeah, we're gonna so bring. We're gonna of, make that overlay more accessible. A lot of people have been asking about the the Zephyr's duo in. Uh, on stream uh, when we stream availability is still I think we're still looking at April or May um, for the US but Jake will have one to show off on stream in depth real soon like it's on I its mean, way to his house so follow us if you want to so, see it yeah hopefully. possibly next week so ho almost definitely and, and that won't, oh, be, that won't be on YouTube that will be on Twitch only we'll probably be unboxing it um, yeah. Well, there's a chance it would be on YouTube, but we'll do a, we'll do a deep dive on YouTube, but we'll show it off on Twitch. Yeah. You know, you might we, game we, on when it. We, we do our, unbox it. Yeah. When we do our unboxings, those are usually just on Twitch, but we do a lot more streaming on Twitch than we do on YouTube. So uh, that is the reason for that. We are going to start this marbles on stream giveaway session. Good luck. Have fun. We got six. Oh wow, that's a lot. Four marbles, ready to race. There's what's in. There's, there's yeah. There's I new. joined. Oh, Jake's in too. Oh yeah, I've never. Oh won. so. Kai Nalu says he wants to use the Archer Backpack 17 not for photography gear, but just for his gaming gear. Like yeah. Change, like, because you can move the, if the components, yeah, or the, the compartments. compartments are modular. So yeah, he yeah. just wants to use it to think like a keyboard controller and stuff yeah. like that without it bumping around and scratching. I hadn't thought of it like that. That's a really yeah, yeah. cool, uh, Whitson, cool stop idea. winning. Stop. I can't. I can't. All I do is win. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> mad about this. <laughs> Grim Razor looks like he's pushing you to victory right now. He's just straight carrying you. Thanks, Grim Razor. Oh, he gave you the slip. He gave you the slip. 
<laughs> whoever's winning at the beginning is never the person winning at the end. Not it's always, always like, true, but that is definitely. Yeah. It's, uh, it, it's, it's too, too, uh, volatile. Oh, nice RGB on this course. Yeah. This is very, uh, <laughs> this is very on brand. I like it. I still want someone to make a marbles on stream course. That's like the inside of an ROG machine. Mm. No, just do it the ROG I. Like you go through tunnels that Ooh. make the shape of an ROG I. Yeah, but think about like liquid cooling tubes that you're traveling through. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be pretty cool. Can can, can anyone just build? Yeah, yeah. Uh, this, this, a is a this is yeah. a community. This is community made course. Yeah, there's. Oh okay. Oh, it's the supernator. The supernator. Oh man. Soup. Oh, but there's soup. You're slowing oh. down. Soup. No. Soup. Soup. You're going the wrong way. Nope. What are you oh, doing? Oh, 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 oh Grim Razor. <laughs> oh. Grim Razor. That was nuts. Got the W. <laughs> Congratulations. Dude, Super. that was like 20th place. That Super was like, that's oh, what you, I That's failed. what you get for <laughs> for pushing Whitson, right? Like, uh... Yeah. Guess so. Maybe I was pulling him, <laughs> and I pulled him to victory. Could have been. Could have been. You owe it. me 10 cents of this Games Planet voucher. Ooh, dang. Just kidding. All right. I've, uh, I do have... I have a nice... Two dollars and sixty cents credit on Steam right now for selling my Elden Ring trading cards, among some others. <laughs> Guys, don't forget to sell your Steam trading cards. <laughs> sell them, sell them when you get them because they're worth more than if you keep them. And you can get like a few bucks in Steam credit. That's like a nice way to like. Here's here's put, my put one bucks for your next game. My one uh, I, Steam story, really quick. So, they they made a um like a Magic the Gathering type game called Artifact. Right. And this was Valve. It was it was Dota mm. themed and it was like three lanes were like the three different boards. And I played a lot of this beta. I did a lot of testing. They did internal tournaments, the whole the whole deal. And they rewarded all of us internal testers by giving us like a bunch of booster packs because they sold booster packs for this mm. game for free. And that was like the business model. You're going to buy booster packs. But then there was going to be as part of the Steam marketplace, you could trade or sell your cards on the marketplace. So I right. opened up like, I don't know, like probably a hundred booster packs or whatever that I got for free. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. They wow. give us, they like, they gave us a lot and I got a bunch of like really strong cards and I sold them all right away. Cause I'm like, I'd rather, I, my mentality was I'm going to play this game. I'm, I think it's fun. I want to, uh, I want to earn the cards, right? I want to play and I want to earn them. Right. So I sold, <laughs> so I noble. made, I made like a, you know, a few <laughs> hundred dollars and the game died. Oh my gosh. The wow. game died immediately. So I got paid. <laughs> to play that game <laughs> and see if you had waited they'd be worth like, like i sold a bunch of, some of my old cards and they were worth like a few cents but, but my Elden ring ones were worth like a few bucks i think um or at least many more cents right like we're talking small amounts but yeah. lane said he had a bunch of items from like dota or one of those games that like he didn't play anymore and so we sold like the items on the steam marketplace and got a bunch of money for that yes you can sell Which is another, like, guys, don't forget to like look in your steam inventory i wish they would streamline the process though right like it's it's kind of a hassle it's a to little go clunky it. but yeah. maybe that's kind of the idea right because they have hmm. to give you i mean well, i guess you're getting money from other people yeah. yeah i don't know yeah well i don't know and you do have to have two-factor authentication turned down with your uh steam account but that's a good idea anyway you should oh do yeah that. yeah <laughs> you should definitely do that <laughs> yeah, you don't have to do that experience. you can no, you still don't... Wow. Yeah, oh. you can do Steam without two factor. You know, well, you know what it might be? Um, sorry. It, it's you have to have the two factor authentication on through the Steam app on your phone. You can't do it through like the emails or whatever. Right, right. But, and for a while, the Steam app was worse for two factor authentication. But now um, it sends you a notification when you get a code. So it's mm -hmm. actually easier to use than the ways. emails. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so using the Steam app for two factor authentication is actually like the better way to go now. It's also more secure than having it in your email or whatever. Anyway, okay. should we talk about laptops? What What is that? What am I seeing? What is this? <laughs> you, you, who, whoever designed this this keyboard layout doesn't deserve a job. <laughs> <laughs> it was Sasha. Sasha designed the keyboard layout. That's the joke. That's the joke. That's yeah. The joke. That's All right. So, nice so what do you layout. not like about it? Come on, tell me. Wait, hold on. I got to zoom in on this because how big is the right shift key? If I could just get rid of right shift keys for other things, I would. But I know that makes a lot I of people mad. I have the mad. smudgiest of hands. This is what Jake. I Jake. 
I don't even, what did I eat? Oh, now, I, now, just to be clear, like there have been some changes actually, this is a very to nice the new layout. keyboard layout that I was not involved in, but the original layout <laughs> was from me, yeah. I, I mean, prefer the larger arrow keys with the smaller right shift key, but I know a lot of people hate that because they yeah. use the right shift key. I don't. Yeah. So uh, it's that's you know, well, the same. I don't use the right shift key, but yeah, a lot of people do. Yeah. Um, for me, for me, I yeah. I mean, <laughs> I obviously like it because I <laughs> created it. Although I have to say, I didn't create it because I think that's you know nice. But a lot of it was just uh, a lot of survey and a lot of uh, checking with people. Um, a lot well, of people. The, so, I like the fact. So this is the 17-inch model, and it has mm -hmm. a full numpad. Mm -hmm. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, that's something I love. Yeah. No, I was I was joking when I said I hate it. It's actually a great keyboard. It's actually, I think a, that was clear. Yeah. yeah. I, I think uh, the the key thing that that really sets it apart is that we have the spacing between Escape and F1 and between all the yeah. F keys, which really makes a big really difference. Important. That, um, you know, you wouldn't think that it makes that much of a difference, but it until just you does accidentally hit F1 it. in game and something right. weird happens because you couldn't yep. feel the the distance um right it's really really useful got a death says for long typing you will use the right shift key dude i've been a writer by yep. trade for a decade and i have never <laughs> used the right shift key me neither so, you he doesn't should, exist though. you should he doesn't I probably exist. should it would be more efficient yeah no. <laughs> doesn't exist yeah yeah um so, and the hotkeys. Okay. I mean, the hotkeys are definitely nice, and I love hot the 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 extra fifth hotkey, which just switches the performance modes, the operating modes right away. Oh, really? That's awesome. Yeah, only on the districts models have that, so you can instantly switch to silent, you know, performance turbo manual. Wait, that's killer because I love using silent mode when I'm like browsing the web yeah, and stuff. Right. But then when volume. I want I want to kick into one of the other modes when I'm gaming. Yeah. yeah. Um. So that's really nice. And the volume control. I mean, that's volume like definitely mute also really nice. Fans. You know, yeah. Yeah. So let's let's back up a little bit and talk about who this is for, right? Especially because uh, while we don't have a Strix G on hand, uh, we're still waiting to get those in our our virtual streaming office. Um, we have two uh, major Strix models in the laptop lineup. We have the Strix G15 and G17, and the Strix Scar 15 and 17. Um, so Sasha, can you explain to us who the Scar is designed for in particular compared to the G? Uh, fans of Team Blue. No, but all joking aside, so... I mean, yeah, the SCAR is Intel and the G is AMD, so that is actually, right. like, a major difference if you have a preference right, on is. which CPU you go. Especially with 12th gen out, maybe yep. that tips the scales now because it's a very different kind of architecture. Right, so the cool thing is the chassis is essentially the same. You do get, like, some slight cosmetic differences between the SCAR and the Strix G, but it's the same chassis. So you do get those super slim bezels uh, on the top left and right. Um, you have really solid chassis, really solid build, um, and yeah. uh, you have that really nice spacious keyboard, very low surface temperature. So uh, this is by far the best experience uh, for anybody who cares about keyboard temperatures and who plays on the actual build and keyboard and doesn't want to use an external keyboard so for that definitely this is the way to look go. at that ethernet port on the back i love right. the ports on the back the i will like set it up back. kind of yeah. like a hdmi yep. ethernet you got usb c power With display port signal yeah yeah it's like a real it's like more of a desktop replacement oh, type of it's this is this yeah is the best. Uh, even though it's so slim it is a desktop replacement laptop yeah 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 this is the closest that we have a loaded term like that's not yeah should, wait should I, I go? Mean, should I go sense. grab a five-year-old desktop replacement? To hey, you want to show your G seven five one? I think yeah, you have a G seven five one. We showed but... it off on stream before. Go get it, Jay. <laughs> because yeah, because I I do want people to understand this. Like when I say desktop replacement, I mean in the purest, not in like, not in the product category of desktop replacements. I mean this is a machine that is so good it could replace a desktop, right? Yeah. Um, that that's more what I mean because. While our Zephyrus models are designed to be super thin, super light, um, really, really ultra portable, uh, these are more designed for uh, really, really good temperatures, really, really good performance. So they're a little thicker, but they're not thick. Like this, yeah, this old laptop here is thick. The Strix, I was shocked when I got one of my hands last year because it's actually uh, a, a still a really easy laptop to carry around the house or whatever or, or, or bring it with you. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. So it's not, <laughs> yeah, it's not like so uh, this was. Like this was the cream of the crop, like in 2015, 16. This was the best thing you could get on the market. This was like a thirty six hundred dollar, yep, god of computers back then. Nine eighty M. You know, it's got an i seven in it. Like this thing, 
I would str I would travel to esports tournaments and stream on the go, edit videos, render videos. It did everything. It still is an awesome machine, but it's huge. I would fly with this on airplanes. And, and now the scar is the best of the best. And you would you you know you could murder someone with this thing. It weighs a lot. This is this is my new workout routine. Yeah. <laughs> Got the curls. But like, w I w make this like really clear. We're not comparing apples to oranges. Like the scar is the best of the best. This is right now, this right? is everything that ever wanted to be in such a so smaller form. The kind of. The, the, the Strix machines are really designed especially, I mean, anyone who wants the highest performance they can get in the gaming laptop, the Strix machines will do it. But in particular, the Strix machines are designed for esports enthusiasts and esports pros, right? So Sasha mentioned that there are some cosmetic differences like the RGB. So if you look at the back, the lid of the laptop, right? I believe the SCAR, the ROG logo on it is RGB on the SCAR, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not, yeah. So on the Strix G, it's not RGB. There's a cosmetic difference there. Um, but the, the real difference is that you can get these SCAR with up to a 3080 Ti in it oh, and uh, up to a 360 hertz display, a 1080p 360 hertz, or you can get a 1440p um, 240 hertz display. So those are super high refresh displays for a laptop. Like that's insane, first of all, that we even offer those in a laptop. Yep. When I remember reviewing the first 360 hertz desktop display like a year or two ago, um, that's absolutely nuts. So if you are really into games like CSGO, uh, you know, Rainbow Six, Valorant, Apex, whatever, and you want to play at super high refresh rates, this is that machine. Yeah, uh, and, and the strict scar. I mean, like the, the screen size great. is is pretty good as well, right? Yeah, 17 yeah. inches is great. 15 or 17, you choose. Pick your poison. This so is we the 17 offer, inch we offer display. 15, 17. The only the main difference to keep in mind, um, they you can get them both with the same hardware. They both you can get them both with an i7 or an i9. You can get them both with a 3060 up to a 3080 Ti. Yep. But the 15 inch offers a full HD 300 hertz display, and the 17 inch offers a 360 hertz display. So small yeah. difference, all things and, considered. You know, numpad, the, you know, keyboard layout is going to change a little bit, right? You lose the numpad yeah, so for the 15 inch, you don't get the numpad. Right? Yep. Um, keyboard uh, layout changes a bit, but you know, beyond that, they're they're pretty much but the you know, ports the are the same. Yeah. The battery is the same, still a 90 watt hour battery mm -hmm. in both yeah. of them, right? Yeah. Um, maybe maybe, yeah, depends on what you use it for, but both really strong battery lives. You know, if you're obviously extreme gaming, it's going to burn through it faster, but. Um, so we've got some question. Uh, God of Death says, want to confirm, is the SCAR 15 the only model with a 3080 Ti? No, the SCAR 15 and 17 should also have a 30 T, 3080 Ti. Right. And also the um, Duo, the I Duo? believe, should have yeah, a 3080 so. Ti, right? Yep, yep. The Strix G does not have a 3080 Ti. 3080, um, though. This year. You can get it with a 3080, though. Yeah, so it's, which, you know. Um, so if you want, if you want the G for whatever reason and you want a high, you can still get it with a great a GPU in it. Um, to, SCAR 2022 keyboard is not optical mechanical either. That That's a difference between this year and last year. You I, don't have like the, the clicky keyboard. I'm personally a little bummed about that, but I don't, you know, I, I thought I'd be more you know, upset than I was until oh, I- Jake, my camera. Yo. <laughs> Good job, Jake. Oh, You're God. killing me, man. <laughs> You're so Tiny, Tiny, Whitson, Tiny Whitson likes the regular oh, keyboard. Oh, whoa. Do, 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 do the voice filter. Do the voice filter for Whitson. Can you? <laughs> no, I cannot apply that to him. But um, I didn't. I, 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 I understand the love for the clicky keyboard. <laughs> I uh, personally prefer the non clicky keyboard. So I'm okay with, Once, with this year's model. Yeah. I, I mean, I will say I still do prefer the clicky keyboard, but I don't dislike this. I expected to be disappointed. And once I used it, I was like, Oh, that's fine. It's, I mean, the, it the is a really good on our keyboard. laptops yeah. are yeah. really nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I would even the, the G14, which is a thin and light. I'm mm -hmm. like, this has a better keyboard than every other laptop I've reviewed in the past, like two years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. And Jake, if you want clicky, I mean, you know, you always can just get one of these bad boys. Yeah, like I and hook it up. So get, get, a, get an ROG Falchion. It's really small. You can so put this in your backpack with the and light. scar and it's bring really it with light. You. Yeah, it's really yeah. light. And, it and I love the slider, the the touch slider oh, the on the, left the volume side. slider on the side yeah, is yeah, really yeah. cool. Hold it's on, funny. Man. There's another cool part. The the Falchion <laughs> is one of the few keyboards that I got and I immediately sent away. I said I don't want this. Really? But I I. Jake Did you use it? No, I I, reg it? I regret it all the time because I'm like I wish I had a tiny little wireless keyboard to use for for this so task. Right? Nice. I I just yep. I, I consistently yep. regret 
sending it off and so i'm gonna i'll have to get the turn this one. off so i don't accidentally we'll type keys successor but to it. it um you can it comes with this like carrying case yeah. thing that you can put on it to like protect it and then you, you just, can kind of just flip it to you put throw it in, it in your, your your archer backpack and you're done yeah i love this thing i love it yeah. i don't have the clicky switches but i you can get it with clicky switches so you can have your cake and eat it too jake how does the liquid metal hold up repasting is my main concern sasha uh there's no need to repaste you really not have to repaste. Uh, people repaste oh, yeah. too much <laughs> shout out shout out to whitson and lane who put up a content article that details all the way from the beginning yeah. until now all the models that we uh, sold with liquid not metal on, it's not on the global site right now uh oh, oh I, I think it got taken down because they're they're playing with the design at the table I'm not sure oh, why it okay, got taken okay. down, but you can still view it on the U.S. site. So I'll I'll post a link. Um, this is actually a really useful article if you want to know what machines we have that that use liquid metal, right? Um, and which use uh, regular thermal paste. You can check out this big giant table. Uh, what's cool about the Scar in particular is that it doesn't just use regular liquid metal. It uses conductor not extreme liquid metal, which is extreme. <laughs> okay, let's like I, let's back up for a second and break this down because. We we used paste on our on our laptops for a long time, like like everyone did, and we started putting um, working with conductor knot with uh, with thermal grizzly to put liquid metal on some of our machines, and the liquid metal dropped CPU temperatures like ten degrees Celsius, right, Sasha? Like it's that's a pretty big uh, drop, and that allows us to to increase the wattage and, and give you more performance. It can boost higher, boost longer, etc. Conductor knot extreme drops temperatures like another what four degrees. Five, yeah, it five, depends yeah. how you test it, but like, yeah, four or so five degrees. So 50%, it's that's like it's, 15, uh, yeah. 14 or 15 degrees Celsius lower than than thermal paste. Um, so that's awesome for for modern CPUs in laptops. Yeah. And we don't, uh, on the G4 team we, this year, we have liquid metal on the GPU too, but we, we didn't do that with the with the SCAR. But that's, that's something to maybe look forward to one day. Um, yep. So that's that's another really cool feature of this machine that it has not just liquid metal, which a lot of our machines have this year, but it has the best liquid metal. Yeah, the highest. Uh, yeah, and I mean we, we've been doing it for three years now, and uh, I haven't heard from a single case where somebody had to repaste or even asked about repasting, like contacted our customer support or something um, about this since then. Um, it, and we use nickel plating since the start. So that was the cool thing about working together with Roman from Thermal Grizzly, right? He knows his stuff. He knows all AKA the details. Der Bauer. So, Der Bauer, you yeah. know um, him from YouTube. Right. So um, for right from the start, we knew we have to nickel plate the heat sink to make sure it lasts really long. Um, and that's like whenever you see somebody like, oh, you have to repaste liquid metal or liquid metal dries out uh, it's yeah. always because they apply it on a, a heat sink that has copper only without nickel plating or even aluminum which is the worst thing you should not do that um, and then it doesn't dry out it actually corrodes into the metal um which so, is even worse yeah which is even worse right so and yeah <laughs> in, in those cases you do have to repaste it or uh it, it's also possible that you know when you shake your pc uh then some of it can leak out to the side, which is then the, your immediate concern should not be that there's less liquid metal. And you have to repaste it. But where did that liquid metal go? <laughs> yeah, so right. You, and right. we have sure. we have a barrier in there to protect against that right. as well. Yes. So like, like so when Sasha says that these things can happen, he's talking about in general with liquid metal right. on our machines because we right. have built in safeguards to protect against these right. things. And because, then right. nickel plating. So whenever you paste your machine, yeah. we don't want yeah. you to have to put new liquid, open up your laptop, put new liquid metal on the CPU. You shouldn't have to no. do that. And, and we, we heard from some customers that um, did ask about the liquid metal and uh, said that it leaked out, but then it actually looks very likely that they were curious about it. So they opened and up <laughs> their heat sink to, to check on the liquid metal. And that's how and it that's when it up. leaks out. Yeah. yeah. But uh, so, yeah, don't do that. Um, I'm not. Yeah, we're not against you opening your laptops. You want to upgrade the storage? Yeah, yeah. So you can do that with the, the strict thing. scar. That's we've, awesome. Yeah. We've do done. It, yeah. We've done it on this stream. If you look at the the pulse playlist yep. on YouTube, we've done liquid metal applications on stream, and you can see exactly it's not how easy to work with. It's not easy. To, it's so slippery. It's like, and that's yep. with, that's with hands. That was, I think, Ryan Nesbitt was the one that did it in this instance. Yep. He 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 yep. clearly is, you know, enthusiast. He's done this at home several times, and even then, it was like, you know, I 
I'm never gonna try it. I'll tell you. I that. mean, even even Arnold Schwarzenegger and uh, you know struggled uh, against the liquid metal. It's not easy to to take <laughs> out liquid metal. Um, we, we all know you, you need a. a Get ready for the it? ROG T1000 CPU cooling right. system. Um, you either need LN2 or uh, what was it? The the accelerator super magnet. <laughs> yeah. Now, all, all joking aside, um, it should last around. We check with with. Uh, I remember I discussed this with Thermal Grizzly with uh, Roman De Bauer, and he said from his experience, um, it should not degrade for five years at least. If you okay. have it caged in, which we do have with the rubber cage. Um, we have uh, some other protective measures as well. Um, it's all very proprietary and we don't want to you know, give too many hints because right, right, right now everybody's trying to copy us and everybody's trying to add liquid metal to their laptops and some it's of our competitors as as thought it was. <laughs> right. And uh, some of our competitors already announced that they are going to have liquid metal but then it's still not shipping from what I heard. Um, and uh, yeah, so we, we don't want to give away too much, but we have several protective mechanisms there to hold it in place. And we have nickel plating on the heat sink. So, and uh, yeah, I mean, we regularly check on this, right? We have to um, uh, for our uh, internal service team and so on and no issues so far. So cool. um, you don't have to repaste it. You don't have to worry about it. I mean, um, and that's honestly, I mean, I think people are a little repaste trigger happy sure. with like even regular understandable because like, with regular I've paste my yeah. GPU for a year i need to repaste it or like i've had my laptop for a year i need to repaste it and it's like no you, you probably don't um but that's like maybe a whole nother discussion uh, <laughs> another question to say guys are there any rtx 3090 laptops made by asus nope this is kind of the cream of the crop this is the strict scar 17 with a 3080 ti is uh, there a 3090 laptop gpu Nope, I don't there think isn't. There, yeah, there, have, there no. isn't one from any manufacturer. Yeah. So. yeah. And for um, anyone who's like, oh, yeah, why don't you use a desktop GPU um, in, in a laptop? Well, the, the GPU is actually the same, um, but the, the configuration of the CUDA cores and everything is different. Yeah. The and the wattage. And but power power draw is. Yeah. Have you seen, have you seen the not allowed. on desktop graphics cards? Yeah. Do you want to right. cram, try and cram that into yeah, a laptop? Yeah, it wouldn't work. But we've done that in the past. And I think if NVIDIA would allow it, we would probably we would probably do. try, <laughs> yeah. But you know, we're crazy like that. We, we are crazy, kind of stuff. Yeah. but um, yeah, it's not allowed. It's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not as simple as uh, it might sound. I mean, I, if you're looking at if you need a 3090 for the kind of performance you want, that's when you go build a desktop. Yeah, honestly, mm -hmm. like it's it's sorry. 3080 Ti on a laptop is pretty solid though. Yeah, oh, okay. for uh, for for most people, <laughs> this thing can do I would, anything. I would say. I mean, like uh, like Whitson well, and I have been talking a lot about home theater PCs, and I was just like, wait a second. I've got a scar. I plug this into my my 65 inch OLED, yeah. and and like voila. There was Why a question. PC? <laughs> there was a question earlier asking if we make any large uh, TVs uh, or anything like 65 inch and above. Um, and just to answer that question, I know it's been a little while since that was asked, but the we we are releasing a 43 and a 48 inch OLED. OLED. Yeah. Um, mm. So those are coming out later this year, but nothing above that. So 40 we used to have. Yeah, we used way to. above that, but I don't think, I think it's yeah. sixty. Don't, yeah, we it? had like a sixty or sixty-five yeah. Yeah. back when like yeah. the BFGD thing was happening. Mm. I don't think we have that anymore, but I don't know. No. Maybe you can find well, somewhere. I, I think this this OLED, you know, us kind of transitioning into making OLED panels of the larger size. I, I think we'll see how how that goes, how people like them um, yeah. when they release, and then maybe in the future we'll see larger OLEDs. Who knows? It's but look forward to those displays because those are coming out later this year. To get back to the 3090s, so um, it depends what you want to use it for. Um, I know that a lot of people use 3090s for rendering or for mm -hmm. even video editing or something like this, depending on what you're doing. Um, you can use it, then it's basically not for gaming. You can connect a 3090 to, to a SCAR uh, because With it supports Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt dock. So yep. you can do that. And even for gaming, you can do that. Although for gaming, I'm not sure how big the performance penalty would be going everything uh, like like uh, going through Thunderbolt 4, um, you're definitely getting a performance penalty when you go Thunderbolt versus, you know, having the GPU directly in the system. And I think the higher the GPU performance is, the more, the bigger the penalty is as well. So you also you, you, like, yep. you're talking about buying a 3090. This is a very expensive graphics card and a Thunderbolt dock. Listen, if you're buying a giant Thunderbolt dock with a 3090 in it, okay, like 
what is over fifteen hundred dollars, two thousand dollars, thirty nine ETI, and then you're also <laughs> buying like a strict scar. I don't think that this is the correct way to go about things, right? You buy, you buy the if you're buying a thirty ninety desktop card. And you're gonna you you have to use it at a desk because those Thunderbolt docks are big. They're not like the XG Mobile that we offer. That's that's really small. You can put in a backpack. Build a desktop with a 3090 and buy like a Zephyrus G14 or a Zephyrus Duo even for that power on the road. Right. And, so you I mean, can honestly, have reasonable power. And, and the Duo is like the ultimate creator device. It really well, is. And that's, and that's if you need that kind of power on the road too. Right. Like. If well, you a lot of people want when it. you're at home, yeah. you can have the 3090 desktop PC at home and then like a G14 for the road. You'll spend less money in total. Or, or an X13. Would. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Or an X13, something like that. And and you'll probably spend the same amount of money or less and you'll have a much. You're not going to do setup a ton in of general. encoding on an X13. though. It depends on what you're doing. Right. If you're doing video encoding, that's when you're looking at the SCAR, you're looking at the Duo, you're looking at the G uh you know those those machines right they're yeah, gonna and if have you're doing the encoding video encoding power. on the yeah road. That, that's that's when you're gonna have that kind of power if that's what you need right then you come yeah. home that's kind of been always been my workflow is like having a device like that to be able to do what i have to do on the road but i'm gonna always come home to my desktop that's gonna do the really heavy lifting there's something to be said for like just having one machine so that all your projects are in one place like i get that i'm just offering mm -hmm. an alternative like if you're buying a 3090 well, consider a desktop Laptop yeah. setup with a mm -hmm. laptop is is something different that only yeah. suits what you need on the road because if you don't yeah. need that power on the road and you only need it at home, you can get a much more efficient setup. Yeah, yeah. Um, there are options too. You know, you guys will probably be better. I cannot remember the name of the product. We have an external um, hub for you can basically put an M.2 in it and you can connect it. So that's one way to transfer data between multiple machines. Oh, what yeah, you mean the Arian, you the, the ROG yeah, Arian. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, Arian. Yeah. Yeah. So you can buy the ROG Arian where I you can basically get like a 2 terabyte or whatever size, you know, uh, M.2, put it in there. It's going to cool yeah. it. It's going to let you plug it into multiple devices and that's one way to be able to have really high speed data transfer uh, for large files if you are using multiple machines. So that's just another cool tool that we do have available that I just uh, happen to think about here. Any info <laughs> about another portable monitor? Um, I, I don't know if we announced not that we year. Not that I have on hand yet, but yeah, I know we we still offer some portable the, monitors. The XT17. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, we have a bunch. We have yeah, an OLED. Stuff. We have a 360 hertz. Uh, yeah. We have the same uh, half height uh, display as we use in our Duo, the, the Zenbook Duo and the Zephyrus Duo. That oh, display, yeah, you can get that the screen with pad. a really cool stand. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah and you, like we're talking, like you talk 360 hertz in OLED, like those are still top of the line. I'm not sure what you want that's going to yeah, be new that's... in the portable monitor space. Like that's as good wow. as it gets, homie. People want, people want the newest though, right? I mean, whether yeah, I or not like, you know, the, 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 you know the information is that difference with well the performance you'll have to wait until that 500 hertz display but, is available on the desktop and then you'll you'll come portable right like um, yeah that's uh, going to be interesting there's going to be 480 and also 512 yeah. those numbers are going to be and you know what weird i yeah. tell the story all the time i thought 360 hertz was higher than necessary and i thought there's mm. no way i'll be able to tell the difference nope. and when i reviewed it i did an a b test i had my i closed my eyes had my wife switch between the two resolutions like 12 times and i got it right every time i could tell the difference mm -hmm. i was shocked we're not i done. didn't think i'd be able to we're going it's... we're going to what 550 ish i think that's yeah, I don't know. Keep on going. Keep going until I can't tell in Overwatch. Well, Sasha, and Overwatch. Sasha has a stop. story that we don't have time for, but um, <laughs> what was the number? Uh, yeah, it was around 500. Yeah, uh, a little I think over that 500, was, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, and that, that was based on like some some fairly professional research, and yeah. Oh, you're talking about 500? You're talking about the, the, the car, where car, car like, man, you stop being uh, able to tell the difference? A car, car manufacturer has a display in their, their vehicle, and they did the research, and they basically went up to like 550. Oh, cool. Years. Uh, and that's where they, they, they felt after that it wasn't worth it. But. I think Sony as well. Sony did something similar as well um, where they did some analysis. They've been doing all this interpolation um, for many years, right? Where they had, uh, where they basically interpolated images and, uh, you know, especially for sports. Uh, I mean, Sony's yeah, interpolation yeah. is the best on the market. But, but, it's yeah, why yeah. I, actually why I have a Sony TV. Chat says most chips. people like only... It's, 
Go yeah, their, their processing chips are excellent. Yes, and a lot of people don't know this, and they're like, oh, this TV uses the same panel as the Sony so-and-so. Not the same. But it looks so different because Sony has incredible chips that can do things that, you know, <laughs> no other uh, scaler. Upscaling, can, the interpolation. Scaler. Yeah, yeah. It's all all really, really incredible. And there's, so yeah, when you look at, yeah, the OLEDs, for example, people look at the Sony OLED and the LG OLED, oh, they yeah. use the exact same panel, they're the same TV. Yes. They are not. There's, there's so much going on Sony. behind the scenes. Uh, yeah. from my, the my, my Sony chip. OLED is so gorgeous, dude. It's so good. Yeah. It's so and, gorgeous. And I heard, I heard uh, from our panel team, the Sony scaler on their top of the line uh, panels, uh, TVs, I think the scaler alone costs like a couple hundred USD. Just I that really? chip. I like believe it. it is wow. it's a top of the line chip. It's you know, it's compare it's the latest manufacturing node and everything. It's it's comparable yeah. to a top of the line CPU or GPU. It's it's really uh very I mean, specialized yeah, chip. I believe it. They they do really awesome stuff there. So Jake, I do want to point out that you just pulled the armor cap off yeah, that machine. This we, is the we, only thing we haven't talked about we, yet. This is another difference between the Strix Scar and the Strix G. Is that this cool little like design flourish oh, on the yes. end? Oh yes, and you the actually Strix... you actually ordered one from Shapeways, I right? I did. So I I don't know where I put it. You you made um, one. I did. So here's what happened. Does I it was... have your face on it or what? No, it doesn't. <laughs> so this is the is, we call it the armor cap. The Strix G. These aren't removable, but they do come in like cool colors. Um, so you kind of buy the laptop with the color you want. With the Strix Scar, you actually get three of them in the box, and you yeah. can interchange them however you want. That's really cool. But you can also 3D print your own. And we actually have 3D printing plans on our website. Yeah, you can just download can the schematic. Yeah. Download the schematic. We actually offer a few different patterns, or you can like draw your own if you're like that kind of uh, uh I, I saw the Dogecoin, uh, one of our Dallas <laughs> designers. That was Dallas Dogecoin. Dogecoin. He yep, told yep. me he was going to do that for the announcement at CES. And I was like, are you really going to do that? He was like, yes. And I was like, amazing. He printed a Dogecoin one to yep. show off at the CES announcement. I've, I've so seen it. I've seen it. Somebody I, tried to steal it when we had like really? a, a, when we had a gathering here to show it off <laughs> in our HQ. And I was like, no, 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 no. Sorry, you can't take this. this we is should not have had mine. them have send it to it. Jake to show off <laughs> yeah, on Yeah, I'm like, I'm actually kind of a I Dogecoin can. fan. But, um, I can check. We don't, we don't <laughs> talk about that dark side of the internet here. Um. So I, I three I did 3D print one. Unfortunately, I messed up. I accidentally grabbed the plan files for the Scar 17, uh, the Scar 17, and I had a Scar 15. So I right, printed an those armor are cap on yeah, yeah, yeah. but it wouldn't fit because it was bigger. It was the wrong yep. size. Wow. But yeah, you can 3D print them, pop out the magnet from one of these, put them in the one you 3D print, and you can put your own design on it, uh, which is really cool. We offer a few designs for download, or you can make your own if you have uh, and, and access to like a... They, they can do like marble, glass, uh, so all kinds of stuff. Bamboo, right? Not, they can't necessarily do all of those four. Oh, Oh, yeah. armor cap because some oh, of okay. those are the, the armor cap is really thin mm. um and so some of those other materials are either too brittle or um huh. they, they won't work with with that thickness so uh most of the i think what you for the armor cap you have to do like one of their plastic but they do have different finishes so you can do like a matte finish you can do a glossy finish you can do like i a thought HD they could do metal too no finish. um i didn't try the metal i don't think i asked mm. them about the metal but I, I tried to do like I think a sandstone one, and they said mm. they could do that, which mm. makes sandstone is like oh really sandstone different. is like so very brittle. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So yeah, I yeah. can't I can't confirm which ones they can and which ones they can't do. But if you are trying, first of all, if you try to do it, you'll get a notification that like it won't work when you when you try to order it. Um, and you can also contact customer support and like send them the file and ask them if you're curious about a specific material. Oh, and, and if you can make the my... file, maybe maybe you can make it work, right? Because there's a lot of hollow space. Maybe you can. There is some hollow space in there but yeah. you have to do some trial and error and that would probably be best done with mm -hmm. your own 3d printer before you start buying stuff from shapeways with mm -hmm. like doing all that trial and error right um so yeah yeah but um, yeah that's that's a but it's a really cool between feature. the strix g and scar as well yeah yeah yeah. The Strix Scar is ultimately, I mean, you have obviously the extra power, you have the better display, but you have, um, actually, does it have the better display? The Strix G has 360 hertz this year. I was wrong. Sorry. They're both glorious. Uh, <laughs> you have the 3080 Ti, you have an Intel CPU, and you have more customizability because the, the logo is RGB and the armor cap is removable. Well, so I mean, we do have to, pieces. we do also have to mention, like, that's what we can do and what is available, but it really depends on what's actually locally available in your yes. market that always differs we always a lot, have right? to we always have to specify this on stream right, right. You, oh, this is all pending what's available in your local market some markets yeah. don't purchase every configuration of a device so you need to check right, right. your local asus 
site to or, or Best Buy or wh- whatever your local retailers are to see if they offer, you know, there may not be SCARs with the 3080 Ti in your region. It and, may only be right. 3070 Ti or 3080. Um, they may not have certain display offerings. It's all about what 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 tech tends to sell well in those regions if they don't think a certain model is going to sell. And what the local sales yeah. guy thinks makes sense, right? Like he might yeah. go like, you know what? I want to give people the option to have either AMD or Intel, same specs, like same GPU, same panel and everything, but then still different price point because there's different price points for Intel based and AMD based. Or they might go, I think most would probably go, okay, this is the SCARS, the top of the line, top panel, top GPU. And then for the more mainstream price segment, I'm going to go for the AMD plus maybe 3060 or uh, 3070 or something like that. Um, that that always depends on the the local sales even, guy. Actually, the Strix G even comes in a thirty fifty model this year. Yeah, mm. you know, Which, and it also depends on the shops, right? With, like even the sales guys sometimes are like, "Hey guys, it makes yep. sense to do this configuration." But then if Walmart and Costco and Best Buy, they're all like, "Yeah, I don't know, I want to do this." Like, oh, all right, yeah. And, and yeah, sometimes will only be available at certain stores. Yeah, sometimes right. you'll see an exclusive configuration that's only available for purchase at a specific retailer. Those deals yeah, happen right. where Walmart's like, "We want." this but we want to be the only one that can sell this right those deals do end up happening um that's going to be exclusive to a specific region but that uh, that is absolutely and that happens with all kinds of that happens with tv it happens with everything you got to shop around with everything and And, and it makes sense right if you see it from their perspective like i'm in charge of gaming laptops for walmart i already have a deal with brand a to sell this kind of configuration i need something for that segment and And, then i'll go with walmart's not gonna they're not gonna carry as many laptops to say Best Buy or Newegg, right? Yep. They're going to have a right. more limited they want market. One so, for each so they're segment. specifically, yeah, they're specifically building out a, a catalog that makes sense for them to sell a you know variety of price yeah. points and capabilities for different displays and different manufacturers. So it's all very planned by each individual store. Um, marketing and, and and sales is 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 a is a complicated thing, guys. There aren't just one yeah. product that you sell. There's all different kinds of bits and pieces <laughs> that go into it. But and it's um, not always conspiracy theories. I mean, people yeah. love mm-hmm. that kind of stuff. Like, oh, it's it's this brand that just wants to only sell this configuration, or no. oh, this yeah. no. e-tailer is evil. They just want to sell that kind of brand. Like, no, or it's configuration. Like people, Walmart sells the 3050 version because that's what people who shop at Walmart want. Right. It's, it's, right. it's more affordable. <laughs> Usually, like, yeah, yeah. There's usually some reason behind it and not, not some evil conspiracy, some cabal going like, Wah. we uh, have a cabal. We just do different things. <laughs> we mostly just play board games and, yeah. and, and drink memes, weird yeah. tasting beers. Go I don't for know. the latest themes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And laugh at Josh um, Yeah, memes. another thing Trade that's really cool. trading cards. A, a thing that's really cool about the new um, SCAR is um, compared to... So the 2021 SCAR was all AMD, right? Both the Strix G and the, the, the SCAR were both AMD. And now we do have uh, Intel for the SCAR and AMD for the Strix G. So that means if you compare the new SCAR with last year's SCAR, um, the main difference is you now get an Intel CPU with way higher CPU TDP as well. So uh, for the last year's model, 2021, I think it was around 80 watts that you could get on the CPU if you're only using the CPU. So you're fully pushing like video editing or or compiling something, some kind of workflow that only uses the CPU, 80 watts. Uh, Now with this one, it goes up to 135 watts. So that's quite a big uh, push. You can get quite some extra performance out of it. And GPU wise from 2021, you go from 115, 115 plus 15 watts dynamic boost to 130. And uh, for the new one, now it's 125 plus 25 so 150 watts total that you can get out of this um so yeah both awesome TDP, yeah and tgp higher wattages more performance and we have a powerful power adapter to go with that by the way yep. so like our fast charging 280 watt adapter can charge up to 50 percent in a half hour which even for a laptop C, this powerful even type is C. crazy yeah, oh, that, type even C with our 100 watt Type C charger, that's already enough to go from zero to 50 in 30 minutes. Wow, yep. that's nuts! Yep. And of yep. course, it has Wi-Fi 6E, HDMI wow. 2.1, all the latest stuff. So Intel Wi-Fi 6E well. for those people who care. Um, I care. So yeah. <laughs> yep. I care. And and it, it is a Wi-Fi card, so you can change that in the future if you want to. Um, yeah, which is always cool. Like yeah. Yeah, the, once uh, Wi-Fi again, seven, the the RAM is upgradable, the storage is upgradable, the Wi-Fi card is is upgradable, so you can both open memory up the slots. Machine. Yeah, you can open up the two machine. Two Gen and, four SSD slots, two. So oh, there's uh, two. Yeah, that's right. Yes, 
two. And both of them are four lanes, um, not our lane, <laughs> but four PCI <laughs> Express lanes. Um, and uh, both are Gen 4. So when you buy it, it's probably going to come with one SSD. Uh, and it has an extra spare M.2 slot that is Gen 4, full speed, four lanes. So you can pop in a second SSD to upgrade. You, you don't, don't have, have to replace to... right, SSD you which have. is a huge pain, right? Add more storage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you yeah, just you don't have to pop in a second drive. Or anything like that. Yeah. Really nice. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, best. yeah. Um, if you want the best of the best, I I love, I mean, I love all of our laptops, and I am a big, big fan of the Thin and Light Zephyrus, but, man, the power of this machine is unbeatable. I used one last year, and it, it blew me away. It only needs a second display. <laughs> and we have plenty of those as well, let me tell you. I can't, uh, the Zephyrus Duo, it's, more it's, on, it's on its way here. That, that's my favorite. That's my baby. Sasha's that's... always dropping dropping hints. What are you, how could we have more coming up? We just dropped like some of the best displays I've ever heard of in well, the gaming space realize, at CES. Yeah, but he's, he's, that's his job. He's like always, he's always working on the next always thing. Teasing. He's always well, he's some always of those teasing. monitors haven't come out yet. So some of the monitors we announced yeah. at CES aren't, aren't out yet. Like our OLEDs yeah. aren't out yet. They're still coming. Um, but Jake is using what the PG32 UQX, right? Yes. Oh. The mini LED oh, 32 inch 4K monitor that just like haunts my dreams because I want it so badly. I, know. I like, I, I, I'm, I'm only supposed to be able to keep it for six months and I'm dreading the day they send me the email saying, hey, you need to send that back. I'm just going to like delete that email. And, <laughs> I and never call, got it. You know, pff, guy, pff, guy, but, you know, but hopefully by then we'll have the OLED models out and you can just plaster that up there right oh, as long is, as we release models is, at a fast enough cadence you can always get the, the next PG best thing. i don't need no no i'm done this is it this is the cream of the crop the pg32 uqx is i mean it is the well, cream of the crop it right is now. just no i i don't even care i don't care about anything else this is it i'm done i'm done Jake, do you already have plans version? to extend your house like adding like a shed or another so, storage room somewhere i i <laughs> I, I told my wife and in, in our, you know, our house was built by her grandfather and it's it's got california oh. redwood tree siding which cannot be replaced but i told her i'm like wow. we need to find a way to dig out beneath the garage so that we can <laughs> so that we can extend my office because the garage is is above me that way so i'd be able to extend my office and like quadruple the size of it if i was able to do that um so that's that's kind of the vision i have i need a much <laughs> bigger go. space um and we just, just gotta we gotta find a but it, like I, I think in order so to, it's gonna be under the garage just like uh what's uh rick's uh secret lab <laughs> yeah sure that's where we'll make the the rog special stuff um <laughs> But guys, uh, I think it is. We do have to get our marbles and stream giveaway in. We had a lot of really good yeah, questions today. Almost too many questions, and I know that we missed some of the answers. So apologies to that. If you guys want to ask more questions, like you were today, because there's a lot of like non questions targeted towards this feel free to turn into our twitch streams we, we stream on twitch several times a week uh you, a much different time zone we started about six hours before this stream went live today um but follow twitch.tv slash asus rog for regular giveaways which this giveaway we're doing is on twitch only you have to be on twitch to enter um and we we were giving out game keys for ghostwire tokyo uh just yesterday we gave away copies mm -hmm. of tiny tina's wonderlands the week before we gave away some elden ring hoodies um so there's lots of cool good goodies you can win but also just a great place to just you know come and ask questions and we can uh, answer them to the best of our ability yeah, or just tease you about the cool stuff sasha's that we, not we, always we, here to with. like spill yeah. beans on things know, we're not supposed to say but we can at least answer why questions. do you keep saying that i i'm okay saying it <laughs> <laughs> I just I just like the narrative that Sasha is the is the Tom Holland of ROG. Tom Holland. Tom Holland. Tom likes Holland. Spider Man. Details. Oh, oh, right. He's always right. like spoiling movies before they come out on the Instagram and stuff. D does he? Oh, yes. okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's like it's like a it's like a whole thing. <laughs> like when he goes on like late night talk shows and stuff, they always like bring someone else with him. Like he'll have to go on with Benedict Cumberbatch, and Benedict Cumberbatch just has to like cover his mouth, like make sure he doesn't like spoil the movies it's like become a running joke at this point wasn't it somebody else though who was like oh yeah wasn't it uh, mark ruffalo who was like yeah but then they all die at the end or something and, mark and, ruffalo uh, is also yeah, yeah. bad i think i and think he's like, also don't die. and he was like oh shit oh sorry <laughs> yeah I, I think he also has a reputation for doing that not as much as tom holland but yeah that was that was not a that was not his finest moment i've yeah. been watching i just started watching what if the the animated series oh from, yeah from marvel i'm like a little bit behind but i just started watching yeah. it. it's actually i like it They're, yeah yeah some of the episodes are stronger bad. than others but i was like oh it's I, bad 
I I I like the ones. I like the one with uh, with Doctor Strange. That one was yes, really I nice. I just watched. I just watched that one. Yeah, that, that, yeah. that was the best one in my opinion. I yeah. also liked the one with uh, what if T'Challa were Star Lord. I thought that was pretty cool. Mm, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fine, fine, whatever. When's the Goku one come out? <laughs> oh. What if Goku was in the Marvel Universe? <laughs> <laughs> right, right. So X Men is gonna enter the Marvel Universe, right? Uh, yeah. That's when, gonna be interesting. When is as when well. is Disney gonna buy uh, buy Toei Animation or whoever owns Dragon Ball Z now? Right. Akira yeah. So, so it's fun, fun, Funimation. Uh, it has the, well, it's probably has the distribution rights in the U.S., but they don't own the IP. I don't know who owns the IP. That's probably Toei. It's know. probably just a matter of time until it all merges together, and you have like I the know. Hulk yeah. fighting Mickey Mouse. Uh, <laughs> the wait, multiverse no, that, can, that can already happen. The multiverse, well, because right, Disney right. owns Marvel and Star Wars, so we have the right. Hulk riding <laughs> get a Marvel Star a Rancor uh, while fighting. <laughs> That sounds like Planet Goofy. Hulk. That's just Planet Hulk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is actually and now then, it just sounds like Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> yes, they're, they're gonna they're gonna put in like uh, Goku as well, and it's gonna be like Smash Bros. It's gonna be like Wario, Waluigi. Uh... Wow. Robocorp <laughs> says, "When are we gonna get the ROG Phone 5S Pro certified for Verizon's network?" That is a question I don't have oh, the answer. Probably to. never. Uh, uh, sorry, it's a very complicated process. I know that. Uh, I wouldn't get your I, hopes up. Right. I don't I, think that. The, we, yeah. The, this the, is... uh, well, all I know is that the ROG phone is extremely popular, but not as popular in the U.S. Yeah, it's not really popular overseas, yeah. and so yeah. that Why? kind of determines some <laughs> yeah. of that. Why? I just don't think I don't. I don't know. I actually don't think we try that hard in the U.S. for some reason. Hmm. Um, we should, because when I got one, I was like, "Oh, this will be I cool," know. and then I used it, and I was like, "Dude, that was my impression." Was so like, good. I was like, because nobody in the it's U.S. So like good. talks about the ROG phone, so I was like, "All right, it, it's probably fine." I, mean, I wasn't really that excited, and then I gamed on it. I was like, "Oh my it's god!" Amazing. Like compared yeah. to my other very expensive phone that I bought, on uh, you know that's in the same price range. I'm just like, "Nah, this phone is actually right." That, that, like, that's the it's thing. A beast, it, like right. It's like oh, the specs. A lot of people go like, "Yeah, but the specs are overkill. You don't need this. You don't need." But the price point, you know, why would you spend more money on something with with less specs, right? Honestly, uh, I just I just got a 5s as well. I'm really looking forward to setting that up. The battery life is insane. Yeah. And that's and that yeah. for me, like that's enough. Like that's all I care about at this point. And the fact that, that has I, like the dual the dual batteries that that wear down slower and right. that giant charge screen is or... so nice for watching. Like I just watch YouTube on my phone all the time, but it's also really and nice I, for gaming. I love the feature where you set the alarm for like seven AM or eight AM and then it charges, you know, slowly yeah. and then only goes up to hundred percent just before the alarm takes off. So like that really boosts your battery life. Schedule, you can schedule, schedule really charging. Nice Based features. on your alarm, it saves yep. your phone's battery life because fast charging will kill your phone. Yep. yep. So yep. here's first of all, it's funny because my RG phone. Some days I'll look at it and be like, "Oh, it's at twenty percent. Why is it so low?" And I'll be like, "Oh, it's because I haven't charged it in three days." I know. Yeah, I, do I that don't charge all my, the time. That's my, the my regular phone. I have to charge yeah. it every day, or I won't the make... only problem with the battery life is it's just so good that you actually <gasps> generally forget. Wow. That was insane. Catastrophic. You actually forget to charge. So here's the other thing, and I, I don't know about this for sure because I haven't tested enough phones, but my regular phone, it its network connectivity is not as good as my ROG phone. So when I'm trying to stream like Game Pass games to my regular phone, um, I get more of like the stuttering and hitching, whereas with the ROG phone, it's basically flawless. And so I, I'm not Is that sure. Wi-Fi or mobile network? Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi, okay, okay. So I don't know if we've just put like a really good Wi-Fi chip in that phone, but it's way better than than my like still very. I'm, I'm not rocking like a thirty dollar phone over here. Like it's a good phone, but the RG phone's network just seems so much better. Um, I think it's the Wi-Fi antenna. Wi yeah, I think Probably. the Wi-Fi antenna might just be better. Mm -hmm. Also, I noticed. So this is something really cool. I'm just gonna like nerd out here for a moment. So this is like the little like uh, thing you put it in for the uh, for the kunai, and it has these little notches right where the antenna is you, you guys are disrespecting the marbles right now tom 3d2 Sorry. congratulations anyways i was really impressed with I, the little notch i know you were so that it has good uh God, good always ruin ruining my commentary oh, moments <laughs> killing me was, was tom the one that jumped out two, these two then... jumped these two jumped yeah tom tom that's jumped like in better. super mario 64 when you cheat by when you yeah like, yeah the, win, the like, rainbow one of those track, right oh yeah you can do it on like yeah rainbow road too yeah very nicely played tom <laughs> Well done. <laughs> well, 
I think, amazing skills, incredible uh, yeah, pro- <laughs> professional play at its finest. Yeah. yeah. I, all right. I, I do think we need to wrap things up here because I, really ran, I ran out of water. We're an hour and a half in and I am like as parched too. as it gets. Like but my throat's Jake, starting to hurt. I have to stay up for another like six hours. What am I going to do to pass the time? Play Elden Ring. That's what I actually doing. am. Gonna, oh, should I stream Elden Ring? Do Maybe it. I stream Elden Ring on my personal channel. Yeah. Do it. Chat, Twitch. you guys want to come hang out while I die a lot in Elden Ring? Twitch.tv slash Whitson Gordon. Yeah. Click my click my name. Do it. Oh, okay. I'm going to go Are get you, some water and then I'll stream. We'll see what, what is going to happen? Are you actually going to uh, go back to the first boss and finally defeat him? I actually, I'm about ready. I've like, I've been leveling up oh, yeah? for like weeks. I've got 20 hours of just grinding in and I'm ready to go fight Margit. I don't know if I'll make it all the way to Margit because I don't know if Margit is in like deep in the castle, but I'm really ready to hit, uh, what is it? Isn't like Mar- 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 you just, in you just walk up castle? to him. Yeah, you just walk up to him. You He's in front of the castle. Yeah, you can just I, like walk up and Then I'm, sta- I'm at the site of grace right next to him. So guys, I'm about about to go do it let's see what happens i will either what did die you say six hours death. <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah let's see if you can I'll make it in those six hours meeting. okay yeah all right we're all gonna right. we're gonna raid your channel so we're gonna send everyone over so don't wait take, how does that work i can b- basically ask viewers if they would like to go watch your stream and it will bring oh, them okay. over um all right so we're gonna we're gonna raid you guys if i just start it right now will it work yeah it doesn't have access to my webcam because my webcam you'll, is... You'll, you'll be okay. You'll be That's, okay. All right. All right. All right. Oh, we want to see his face, though. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna, I mean, no, I have my face. I just can't do it until I end, end this stream. Oh, okay. We're okay. just going to raw end the Skype call. Usually we hang out afterwards a bit, but we're going to we're gonna end here. We're going to let Whitson fail at Elden Ring, guys. We'll see you <laughs> right. We'll see you tomorrow for some Elden Ring on our Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash ASUSROG, 3 p.m. Eastern, noon Pacific, where we, I'll be playing Elden Ring. Actually, probably an hour early because I have a meeting at 5. Um, so probably start at 2, 2 Eastern. But anyways, enjoy Whitson playing tonight. Quick question. Uh, next week we're going to do the same again. Uh, I don't think so. maybe. Not, sh- not sure yet. I don't know. Yeah, okay, maybe. okay. We'll let uh, you guys know. We'll, we'll, Keep we'll... an eye on our stream. All right, guys. GGS. Have a good night.